Hello all, Sai here. Uh, so, I am back. Um, and this time I'm going to be jumping straight into a game. It'll be a mutagen game with a Justice She-Hulk deck. Um, it's the one that I built on Thursday, which was the... I want to say... 24th of January on stream, except tweaked ever so slightly. Um, I can't remember exactly what I cut, but I went up to two mansions. Um, I basically just tweaked it around to try and get some more blue resources so that I can more aggressively play. I uh, use the. Where is it? It's in here somewhere the superhuman law division in alter ego mode which I realized after the stream I couldn't use enhanced awareness for so anyway that's fully set up so let's just shuffle and um, I'm playing on tabletop sim at the moment because I might have a guest a bit later um, and I don't believe they've used octagon before so I don't want to um, throw them in the deep end on that. Anyway, uh, I'm going to set up Mutagen Formula. Components. I need a die to work out what the... Not blocks. I do that way too often. Um, dice. Plastic. D10 will do. Five, which would be Modoc. Now we played Modoc in the last stream. Lost to Modoc in the last stream. Six. That's Goblin gimmicks. Okay, uh, that's the recommended. So I don't worry too much about that. Let's delete Goblin one. Goblin two and three go here. Two schemes, couple of gimmicks, standard, expert. Ah, uh, there's nothing that discards. Oh wait, we need a roll. This one. There's nothing that discards. So the next thing that's going to be set up would uh, isn't going to be impacted by this being in there. Let's throw that in there. I have my throw. Uh, that's the stage two. Oh, stage one. That's stage two. Hmm. Put a goblin throw and when completed. So we just need the two Brett per player to start. Right, I've got a tracker here. Uh, she Hulk Life Tracker for myself. And. Let's go one of these. 18. Okay. Everything's definitely shuffled, so it's time for me to get started um, by choosing a colour and drawing my starting hand. Four, five, six. Oh, and I'm going to reveal the old two encounter cards. <coughs> so turn one is often really bad. Okay. I want to hold on to this because that lets me remove the two from here. Uh, I can already kill the thrall just with my attack, and because my flip isn't an attack, I can deal that to the 
villain overall. So I want to keep that. I want to keep that to activate that. I don't think I want to keep... Uh, maybe we'll keep that instead. I'm more likely to play the Enhanced Awareness. So let's just cut two. And see what we get in replacement. Okay, so if we play the Mockingbird, that'll give us... some room to work with. If I play the Mockingbird, I have to use both of these to activate the Superhuman Law Division, which I think is still worth it. So Superhuman Law Division, immediately activate, to take two off of here. Now, we set up Mockingbird, and we flip, He's not in a way it doesn't say it's an attack, so we can target here. Then I'll attack the thrall. And then I'll attack for one. That way. Um, I'm in a pretty good spot initially. And because he's stunned, which I did forget to grab out because of Mockingbird coming into play. Uh, we're not in a super dangerous spot, despite the fact we're going to have three cards. Worst case, I get hit twice, I guess. And with the damage points, I can probably soak that. Anyway, let's refresh. Ooh, that's really good. Ah, that's not what I wanted to do. One here, stun goes away, and then we get to the cards. Now we get to see just how bad this setup is going to be. That's not great. Throwing it out there. Not what I want to see. Master plan. Okay. Oh, that's two really dangerous cards gone. Discarded from master plan. That's a size. Set three on it. That's unfortunate. Two would have been really easy to clear with this. And we've got the last one. Attached to the highest printed. So that would be the Green Goblin himself. Okay. So. There's no way I don't do a, a split personality turn here. It's such a good card, and none of these other ones are particularly powerful. But two, three, four, five, six. I don't think I ground stomp here. This would allow me to kill the goblin knight. One, two, three, four. Okay. Let's do that first. That stops me from playing this, though. That's unfortunate. I am going to use this to work two threat from here. Then I'm going to Fought the additional one. Get rid of that. I don't want extra cards. Not in solo. Uh, okay. Okay, that could be dangerous, but I think I can afford to let it sit around for a turn. So I'm going to flip, and then attack it, putting 5 damage on it. Uh, discard superhuman strength, 
hold on to Kazi Blow. Because next turn, I'm going to try and go into Alter Ego. Seems fair. Um, I'm getting attacked. I'm blocking with Mockingbird. He's currently got free attack. That's another good card to see gone. So he does 5 damage to Mockingbird. Then I take 2 from here. We discard a card from the top. This didn't trigger because he didn't damage me. He damaged Mockingbird. Yeah. We haven't taken our card, which is Intimidation. can't afford to spend two resources, I don't think, so I have to give him a boost card. With him having a boost card, I can't flip into Ego anymore. Like I was hoping to. So what I'll do is I'll Avenger Mansion for one. I could then play Nick Fury. Be able to fork this or kill this, probably kill this, and draw three cards or both. If I'm willing to not draw the cards, which I think I am, I would be able to do both. And throw She Hulk at the main villain. I'm gonna draw the cards. Hello Carrier seems the best here. Just to make it, uh, just so I can have it going forward. Thwarts with Nick Fury. And I'll tap Monster. Not Monster, uh, Goblin Knight. I can't let it sit around, it's too dangerous. But I will stay on this side. One for the player. Keep doing that. Okay, I'm gonna block with Nick Fury. Ah, I got another concussive blow turn, that's good. One, two, blue cards for a three strength starting. It's five, uh, six. Nick is well and surely dead. And I get one card. Monkey bombs. Okay, I can deal with that. Now, I'm not going to heal. Let's draw a card. Okay, I have one resource here. I want to keep a resource here, just to clear this for whatever reason. Uh, and maybe I can set this up. If I use the Helicarrier, I can use these two to pay for that. And I can use that for that and that and play that onto myself. I don't have enough red to get rid of that, and I don't have enough yellow to get rid of that. At least not and to also get the confuse. So let's play the concussive blow. Paying one, two. Doing free damage and a confused status. 
I'll go then play in it Honorary Avenger to increase my hit points by one. And I put an evade on this side so I need to before I flip. I'll then attack. One, two, three. So I'll six damage this turn. Then I'll flip down to Jennifer Waters. And I might as well do that to clear out my hand. And make this less likely to trigger. Now, everything refreshes. Four, five, six. This does not go up by one because I object to it going up by one. This goes away, and then one card. So he's scheming at plus two. So he's at four, five. There's not enough to show this, the thing. But that would have been dangerous no matter what. It's pretty good that I took it on this side. So that it's not actually hurting me. Uh, so, start of my turn, I'm going to draw a card. The Helicarrier. Now, I can play Honorary Avenger on this side because I'm, I've got one already in play. So I could boost my hit points quite substantially here. I can also play for Justice. Uh, I like boosting my hit points substantially. Oh, I could play? No, I need the full Justice, I think. Use that to pay for that. Play that. One, two punch using the healing carrier. Or justice using this to bring it down by four. I have to straight up take the attack, which is pretty dangerous. My HP will be pretty high. Is there any way? Oh, wait. Okay, I need to pay for that somehow. That. Okay, I'm pretty sure. We play Endurance to start with. One, two, three. We play Honorary Avenger. That, that, that. Then we play Use Hellcat to activate this. Then we flip, doing two damage. For Justice. Clearing the rest of the prey. And then attack for three, playing one two punch. Attack for three. Okay, so I am going to take this hit. Um, but my max HP is now 20. And I've um, got 18 hit points. So I can probably take extra damage. hit. I say going full well, though, I can only take like six, eight, six, and then the two indirects, so eight. I've got a pretty good resource base. Oh, two cards, though, off the top. It's going to be potentially scary. Let's see how we go. One. Now, one attack here gets put into play. So that's one V. Pumpkin bombs go off. I'll take two more indirect, and then I take one from that attacking me. Currently at eight damage. That's not really enough to warrant the uh, slime if you get it, but it's pretty good. Pretty good start. Clip. Uh, he'll heal. Double the stage number, so he'll be up to five. This is one that I was kind of scared of. Um, he'll attack for five plus whatever I get here. Zero. Okay, so just another five. Seven. 
Okay. Let's start by drawing the card. That would be very good right now. Uh, I don't need to play for justice if I... Although I could try and set up that. Ooh. Ah, oh, I also have to remove that. We'll move the frog. We use the helicarrier and these two. The one-two punch had the web that I need to trigger the effect, so it'll do three damage. And it confuse. Then I'll spend the two energy to remove this. This allows me to safely flip down and draw my six cards. I object to the first one coming out. I know I haven't done all the things here, and this confuse goes away. And we just get the one card. Oop. When defeated, shenanigans happen. Discard, maybe get some minions. Okay, it's fine. Now, let's draw my card, start a turn. I think what I want to do here is begin and end in Jennifer Walters' um, territory. So, to do that, I need to play that at some point in my turn. That is needed for that. That's one on it, too. Okay, what else do we want to do? I need these three for the split personality and I can just save that. No. Let's do this to remove this side scheme. It's got two. Oh, that's a. Two putting goblin minions into play engaged. Ooh, that's handy. No obligation. Okay. Uh, so we got no minions. Okay. So. We flip. This does two damage. So we put this back up to 20. And deal myself braiding counter cards. This is on the first stage of that. This is on the first scheme here, so I'm not too worried um, about this progressing. Also, yeah, I'm gonna confuse him. So we'll play three to do three damage. And it confuse. And then I'll hit for three more. Then I'll use the heli carrier. And sort of personality. Drawing six. Okay, now I've got to work out what we can do with this. Uh, you're one of the best ones I can get. Can I get those two? Four. No. I can only get two two cost things. And I want to push as far down because I'm currently on 20 hit points, that's 13. 
I could legitimately win based off of uh, Gamma Slam. I am going to set up Mockingbird. He was going to be paid for with one, two, three. You should have fought for one. And I think I'll just discard both of these. Okay. Ah, check to that. And then we get uh, Confused goes away for his scheme, and then we get the four cards. Goblin Soldier. We don't actually have to fight that. If we can kill him. Oh, wait, I should draw my six cards. Four, five, six. Come on. Ah, oh, have we already seen the Game of Slam? I don't think we have. No, I'm pretty sure we shuffled. Ah, uh, so we we'll have to use Nick to try and dig for it. There's not that many left. Second card. Advance, he's gonna scheme. Not two. He heals for two. Putting two threat here. Not that bad for uh, for an advance. He's got a glider. And we got another goblin soldier. Okay. So let's see if I can finish it this turn. I already have five damage on the table. If I play that, that's an extra six. Five, six damage on the table, sorry. So I just need four, which I don't currently have, but I can get two here. Let's use that straw card. I think I can win without using the Gamma Slam here. Neither of these have guard. Um, this is six damage on the table. So just what can I play from hand? Two. So that's eight. That's two more, so that's ten. And that's three more, so that's thirteen. I don't have enough in hand. Let's use this and one, two, three to play Nick Fury, drawing three cards. Okay, let's see if I can work this out. So this is plus six, costing two cards. Currently got six, so that's twelve. Hmm, I don't think I have enough. I want to draw four cards next turn so that this get, guarantees me the Gamma Slime. Hmm, how do I do this? Probably just leave these up. What happens if... okay. I can't afford that. Uh, should I go for the stun? I should probably go for the stun. No, not with Nick Fury already there. Six, eight, eleven, fourteen. I need to be able to play that, but I'm one resource short. Yeah, I am one resource short. I've got no way to get generate one. Yeah, I'll just whisk it. Or is it safer? I think it's safer to go for the stun. Um, I'm gonna play a superhuman strength. 
I'm gonna flip, doing two damage. I'm going to attack for five here on this, putting him down to nine, and stunning him. I'm gonna one two punch when I attack, and attack again. I'm going to attack for one here, and I'm going to attack, uh, I'm going to thwart, I think, actually, with that. No, no, I'm going to attack. This puts it within She-Hulk punching mode, and uh, he's stunned, and I've got two things to block, so I'm very unlikely to lose here. Put one on that. I no longer need that Gamma Slam, which I didn't get. That's really unfortunate. Okay, he's stunned, so that goes away. Then I'll just take the two damage for these guys attacking. The Mutagen Formula, one card. Hey, just what we needed. Another Goblin Soldier. So that means Nick Fury goes away. Now these have guards, so I can just attack. Uh, although I can draw. Maybe I can go out with a bang. That seems like with a bang. Uh, I'm currently on 20 max. Oh, I should have discovered that last turn. I'm currently on 20 hit points. So I can do 15 damage. with my Gamma Slam for 12 damage overkill. So that was Mutagen Formula. I... Even with Goblin Gimmicks, Goblin Gimmicks isn't a particularly hard um, scenario, uh, not scenario, modular set. I'm a little surprised how easy that was. Um, as far as we skipped a couple, good, uh, couple more dangerous things like Hysteria, they got discarded from the master plan. Um, there was a Shadows of the Past that got discarded. Most of this, the really scary things just went into the bin. But that went really well. Honestly, surprised how well that went. Um, let's see. I'm just going to quickly check in. Um, yeah, so. This deck, uh, I'm just going to quickly go over this deck, bring it up. Uh, Marble Champions database. My decks. Gamma Infused Concussion Clone. And bring it up on the screen here. So folk can see it. Or not. Ah. Uh, Let's work out what's going on here. One sec. Chrome. There we go. Sorry about that. Uh, yep, so this is the deck here. Now I'm just going to quickly go into edit. Because the important thing is the history. These are the cards I changed when I swapped to... Um, that I swapped between streams. So, two Avengers Mansions, that wasn't in the last one. One Honorary Avenger. Um, this was just to focus more on the Gamma Slam play, because it's big and can win games. You just gotta get through your whole deck to find one. Um, moving Lockjaw. Lockjaw was doing nothing, I never played it. It was literally just a fist resource. Heli Carrier, um, I swapped from two Heli Carriers to two Avengers Mansions because I realised you have to have the blue resource in Alter Ego. Um, and I swapped the downtime for an honorary Avenger because I just never recover. I preferred, I just need to increase my hit points so that I can survive the whole game. As you can see, it went fairly well there. I actually had 15 damage on me. 
these things are the only thing, uh, these honorary Avengers and Endurances are the only thing keeping me alive. So that worked pretty well. Uh, I reckon these were valuable changes, and I think long term, I'd probably cut Enhanced Awareness and swap it for the Fist version. Um, although it is nice that it's both producers and is a blue, but um, I think at that point you can then stop focusing as much on red icons and start grabbing more blues. Anyway, that went well, uh, and that's it for that character. I am actually all out of justice requirements for She-Hulk with Mutagen. Uh, I'm just going to quickly check with someone here and we'll see if we can get a guest for the next episode.